So I wanted to talk through briefly the remote operator configuration. Uh, we skipped over that earlier so we could do it along with the remote transmitter. Um, there's a bunch of settings in here that will define how the remote transmitter feels for the person who's running it. And we're just gonna work our way through it. Uh, pan joystick smoothing. This setting applies, um, some people call it a ramping, some people call it an ease in, ease out. So if you let, a, let go of the stick abruptly, it will still, the, the gimbal will still come to a nice smooth, smooth stop or start. A uh, higher number means more smoothing applied, a lower number means less smoothing applied. Uh, very experienced joystick operators typically like a lower value. It allows them to be more precise, but if you give it to people that aren't particularly smooth on the sticks, it's nicer to elevate that number and ensure that their starts and stops will be smooth and uh, nice. Pan Joystick Expo. Um, what this does is it softens the feel of the remote joystick around center, but it stills allow you to have that full rate as you get to the extremities. Pan Joystick Window. This defines how much dead band or window there is in the center of the stick before uh, your stick movement on the remote transmitter will translate into a pan move on the Movi. Um, experienced operators like this to be as low as possible so that they feel as connected as possible with the Movi. You don't want to go so low that uh, the joystick might not recenter properly and accidentally give a pan input when you don't want it to. So we recommend the lowest value being five. Um, Tilt joystick smoothing is much the same as pan, but just applied to tilt. Tilt joystick expo, uh, same as pan joystick expo, just applied to tilt. Same with window. Um, pan tilt uh, remote adjustment speed. Um, you can set this to independent, which means there's two knobs on the, or two adjustments on the transmitter that allow you to control the pan speed and the tilt speed. Or you can change that to combined and when changed to combined, it'll allow you to control pan and tilt speeds from one knob. Um, we tend to use it as independent because we find oftentimes there's shots and maneuvers that call for a very fast pan speed, but you still want very slow tilt speeds or, or maybe vice versa. Uh, it's just nice to have the flexibility to adjust those two independently. So um, that gives you a brief rundown of the remote uh, operator configuration within the FreeFly configurator. And uh, in the next step, we'll talk about the actual remote and the various switches and adjustments and controls. Thanks.